Yes, we are here at the 2300 Arena. It's March 26th, 2022. And I used to know this guy yeah. really well. He Many times he almost took me and my camera and threw us out of ringside. <laughs> the Berserker, John Nord. It's so good. To, I haven't seen you in so many years. Well, I just ran into this guy here and he don't play around. He's, he's done so many of these. He's, I said, you want me to say it? He said, don't worry about it, let's just do this. And that's Bill, but I've known him since 1985. Yes. So that would be a snappy 37 years and uh, 38 years. And uh, he gave me Rookie of the Year 1985 Pro we Wrestling did. Illustrated. Yeah, we did. And uh, I, I was really proud of that. I really was. And. Um, I'm not proud of a lot of things, except for my children and God and all that, but um, but God, it's just every time I see Bill Laughter, my heart warms up, Thank and you. I'm like, Bill Laughter's a class act, and I love him. I agree. I the mean feeling that. is mutual. Fuck yes. Why, why did you stop wrestling? You had such a great career going on. Well, here's it is, Bill. Is a lot of people ask me, like, I bounced around a lot, and I, I was always... I've never been fired from a wrestling job. I know that. And I always go back to my dad's car lot. We always had car lots in my family. So they always thought I was getting fired. And I've been fired from a lot of car lots. But I've never been fired for pro wrestling. But the main thing is, is when you got, you know, kids at home running around in diapers, you sooner or later go, enough, I got to get home and just, I'll, I'll be a car salesman. Gotcha. And that's back and forth. And then finally, finally I did. Actually, I had a slight fracture in my neck in spring of eight, 98, wrestling Hugh Morris. I remember him. In Springfield, Missouri. Right. And that was technically my last match. Wow. Do you, uh, do you miss it being in the ring? Oh, I miss being young, yeah. Yeah, well, we um, all do with that. Don't we? Yeah. Um, do I miss being in the ring? Yeah, I do. It, you get, like, all day long, you can go get a workout in, you can sit, watch TV, you can do whatever. But once you hit that ring and you get that workout in in the ring and get the, all that sweat, you go back to the shower room, shower, and you're just ready to tackle the world and it's 10 o'clock at night, and you wonder why we got in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. always the hotel bars. Did, did the people at the car lot, the customers, recognize yeah. you? Um, yeah, you know, in Minnesota, for a couple years stint, I was Nord the Barbarian. I remember and very well. I slammed a guy through a windshield nice. at my dad's car lot. And it was a car commercial. If you tune in to John Nord's car commercials, you will laugh your butt off. Uh, it went like this. And we ran them during the Vikings games, and it was incredible how many cars we sold off of. But we went, no credit, we don't care. And I'm standing there, no down payment, we still don't care. And then I'm on top of an 85 Riviera, and I said, don't make your payment. Who was your scoop em? Who was your toughest opponent? Slam through the windshield. My toughest opponent? Yeah. I would say, uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. I know it's a tough question because you wrestled so many guys. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, first of all, I think of Japan, 1994, that was a hard year over there, and I was with, you know, Steve Williams, Stan Hansen, um, Bruiser Brody, Bruiser, well, I, I, so the answer to your question, I gotta say my old partner, Bruiser Brody, yeah, yeah. I mean, what else would I say, Bill? Right, right. It just wouldn't fit if I said anybody yeah, else. It totally makes sense to me. Yeah, and it's the truth. Because the more I cranked it up on him, the more he cranked it up. And he had, you know this, Bill, he had lungs of a greyhound. I know that. Go all night. I and know that. That was his key. 
You'd always say, John, don't out-muscle him, outlast him. All right. So John Nord, the Barbarian, here with Bill After at the After Chat. And thank you for uh, thank you for doing this. Thank you. You're a legend. Thank you. In my own mind, like Lou Albano <laughs> used to say. Oh, yeah. Love this guy. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you at the matches.